It didn't sound like I was like opening a portal. That's that was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> And welcome to the Invincible Podcast, probably the best superhero podcast in the universe. This is a show where friends get to sit around and talk all things Invincible, a comic book by Robert Kirkman, Corey Walker, and Ryan Otley. On today's episode, we're going to be doing Invincible What If. And joining me is my good friends Bill. Hi, everyone. And TJ. Oh, hey, so it's TJ. Hey. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm a little tired. Yeah. I'm actually. What is your actual. Sorry, Bill, go ahead. I interrupted you. Wow. TJ, what is your actual schedule time, schedule to, go time to, work? to work? My schedule time? Like yeah, because like, I, I feel like you always there? have to go in earlier than you do. I feel like I you do. always just have to go in. Like, you're always on the verge of going into work. It can be 6 o'clock at night. It can be 8 o'clock in the morning. You're like, I have to go to work in an hour. So, here, let me explain. Oh, Shall I? Short, go ahead. Short right. version. Okay. Abridged. So, I, my schedule time technically is 6.30 to 3. I don't remember the last time I've actually worked that. I run all of filtration, which is first, second, and third shift. So if I have meetings that I have to deal with the third shift team, I have to go in probably an hour, hour and a half early every day. To get them Plus at I the go end of their shift. Have, even when I, yes. Even when I don't have to go in, I have to go in at least a half an hour early every day to get the day started. Same thing with second shift. I'll have to stay late to do their meetings and shit like that. So TJ is a, he's a very important person. I, you know, uh, so, okay. Some would say. It's, Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. I'm excited to do this episode. I think it's going to be fun. Um, been really busy at work. I'm curious to see how this episode is going to go. Yeah. I think uh, I think we're going to aim for it to be a little bit more chill. Hmm. Just There's us talking about Invincible. I feel like it's been a long time since we've just talked about Invincible freely off the cuff and not had like, we're going to talk about this issue or mm-hmm. this volume or this, you know, spinoff or tie in or something like right. that. We'll get to it. So tell me about your work, right? Me? Why is it... You said it's busy? It's just really busy at the winery right now. Serving wine, making it. Just making it. Not really serving anymore. A lot of wine tours? No, but it's going to start picking up <gasps> because the weather is getting nicer. Mm, hey, are nicer. you guys going to start doing the movie nights again? Actually, I think we are. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm pretty sure that. Uh, so enough of that. We are the Invincible Podcast. We, uh, You can find us over on Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Uh, find the podcast over on Apple Podcasts or you know wherever else you find your podcasts. And uh, you can email us, just like uh, some of our listeners did to be part of this show. You can email us at theinvinciblepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, we are also the hosts of the Oblivion Song podcast, which releases every month after the latest issue of Oblivion Song. So when is the next issue of that, TJ? That Two is weeks. April 11th, I want to say. I and it's right. every, the first Friday after it gets released. Yeah. yeah. So look forward to that soon. Um, I'm excited for the second issue of that. I'm really excited. I'm mad. Why? That so many other people have read up to issue five. I think it's a five, six. five or six. It's issue six. six? Yeesh. And we're the Oblivion Song podcast. But we don't want to. I know. We have it. Yeah. We in have our the possession. We have the option to, but we just don't want to. You know what? And that's, wow. Good for us, you yeah. know, for being. So Good for us. For having so much restraint <laughs> and not, not, not reading it. Yeah. But enough with Oblivion Song. Um,. There's nothing really in terms of Invincible related news. The new Mega Box is still coming out. Hopefully by the next episode we record, it will have been out and we'll know what's inside. Uh, still hoping there's other Invincible related stuff in it. But so far, the only thing we know that's in it is going to be the uh, Robot Leg Eve. You know for a fact? Yeah. It is It is a fact that it's going to be in there, even Facts. though it's not official. It's definitely going to be in there. You know, that's the opposite of a fact, right? Yeah, that's but I feel I feel so confident <laughs> that I'm I'm going to call it a fact. Um, anything else? Or are we are we going to jump no, right into get, the what let's ifs? Let's get into the what ifs. I want to know what what. So how are we going to do it? Are you going to say one? Then are we going to read some fan ones? Like what? We'll, is, just, we'll just bounce around. Okay. We'll just bounce around. Do throw you, the ball around. All right. Um, do you want to start with a uh, listener one? Yes. All right. Let's start with the listener one. Okay. Um. Well, first off, let's go to uh, an email one. Uh, remember, let's get into them emails, you can email though. us at theinvinciblepodcast at gmail.com. Luke wrote in. Uh, what up, Luke? Luke says, Oh, hey, Luke Lizaldi. Oh, my God. Luke says, Hey, guys, I have a couple what ifs. This one has probably been suggested, but what if Mark 
took the time-traveling cosmic spaghetti up on its offer and decided to keep the new past he created. This was one I had originally thought of. Um, a lot of people suggested. Yeah, I'm it sure has, this is a... It has a, to be asked. Yes, it does have to be asked. So this is... I, we didn't put these in any kind of order, so I guess we're diving right into a fairly big one right off the bat. So This is going to take what if, the whole episode. No, no, no. We're gonna, I think we're it's going to be, be quick. Yeah, we're going to be quick with a lot of these. Okay. What do you guys think? If Mark had taken up the Spaghetti Monsters offer, so he said he offered Mark to stay, abandon Terra, never go back. Um, the first thing I want to ask you guys is what would have happened to the timeline that Mark abandoned? It never existed. I think it still would have existed. It would I have think gone it still would have existed. Five years think passed. about Angstrom Levy. There's other dimensions. I think it would. I think that dimension would can would continue on. Well, I think of it as a dimension. So that's okay. So you're assuming time travel is dimension where where I think that if, time travel can cause dimensions. Hmm. You know I, mean? I kind of agree with that because anytime I think of time travel, whether it be like Back to the Future or something like that, I think Timelines of it as another time. Other. Yeah, it's just yeah. a so parallel that, timeline, so which that, is in itself could be considered another. So that dimension. timeline continues regardless of what's happening. Yeah. Oh, so it's why, almost like when those uh, guardians came back to get Mark from the future when he was in the desert after killing Angstrom. That's an alternate reality. That was a future without in which Mark didn't come back. And an alternate timeline. Yeah. Also could be called so dimension. What, but what I'm saying is that one carried on. What happens if this one would have carried on? Okay. Really great question then. Is the was the blue spaghetti monster if it's if it's all knowing and cosmic and stuff like that, wouldn't it care about all dimensions, not just it was whichever all-knowing. one? Kirkman said that. Kirkman said that he wanted to show well, like uh, I think he also said that it could have just been wrong. <laughs> so I don't I know. I guess so. I mean it could have just been some stupid alien that like, yeah. you know, or a piece of bacteria. But, but but why why would it care about that timeline if it just could have chosen whatever timeline? Maybe to live in? maybe they only lived in that timeline. The timeline that the reboot but they, existed. But in. then they created a dimension. Because if well, they maybe went they were back created they maybe they didn't create it, maybe they just lived in it. And they pulled Mark into it and said, This is the one that you need to fix. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just being random uh, yeah but anyways what would have happened if mark never went back i think it would have continued on because it it the regular universe did carry on when he was not there yeah tara it was did. born five years went five years it would have continued without mark so so what okay. would have ruled he would have destroyed everything yeah, like would probably. if mark had not have been there would <laughs> thrag have continued his because you got to think oliver was undercover do you think alan could have beat him I mean, why was... I mean, obviously, Alan put Oliver undercover without Mark being there. Like, they had a plan. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They had a plan before he even came back. Yeah. I mean... I need a fucking spreadsheet. Right. And, like, a bulletin <laughs> we board. We need a dry erase board. This. Oh, yeah. Blueprints. Yeah. yeah, because you have to think about, so what major things did Mark live through already? Like, it's hard because you have to know, like, what he didn't do. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like... So what what did he do after reboot that wouldn't matter? But what did he do beforehand that he would change? Oh, we were talking about he would still want to be with Eve, stayed, right? You're talking about if he stayed in or, that dimension. Right now we're still talking about the dimension where our dimension Tear is alive. <clears throat> okay. Thrag would have ruled. So I don't think if, I don't think they would have stopped. What happens Thrag. if Mark never came back? What would happen to the people that we know in our dimension if Mark never came back? From oh, Thrag, yeah, Thrag would have would reboot. I don't well, think. Well, no, because no one could have. But no one didn't. He died. He, he, but that's in and that remember, timeline. And remember, remember, Nolan wasn't going to. Wasn't it after that that Mark had to convince Nolan to You don't think that if, that if Thrag eventually got to Earth... Would to Oliver have that? died? Because that was the turning point for Nolan. No. You know, to no. actually fight. He Oliver died saving... Tara. Tara. Because they were there. Wouldn't have, oh, no, wait, she was born. Yeah, because they were there but why on were their they vacation there? planet. I feel with like... Mark. I'm starting yeah. to think Mark kind of like almost fuck some shit up and then save the day but um, like fuck some shit up what do you mean because i feel like their plan could have worked whatever it was we don't really know what it, yeah, was, but, know what it was but it, i felt like having all of them i felt like the they trust. were they were executing whatever plan that they had very well yeah so everything was oh, going yeah, according to plan until mark came back and they were like maybe we should change it because now we got mark here yeah yeah it's interesting we don't know what, whether or not their plan would have worked but now no, I don't know if I were in Mark's shoes if I would have done anything differently because I, if I knew that the timeline that I was abandoning mm-hmm. continued, mm-hmm. and I just I, now it's a world that I'm not there, so yeah. I, I so my daughter still exists in this timeline, yeah. and I could go back to it. She 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 exists. It's not one or the other; they both still exist. I would be okay if like it never happened, and I'd be able to start over again. You know, 
Because then I would still be with Eve, and then I would mm-hmm. have the baby, and you know what I mean? But knowing that there's that that I abandoned, I don't know if I'd be ever... ever yeah, be but you got to gotta think about what, what else. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you're right. So it's, it, it's right, interesting to think about what would have happened to exist. that portion. Mm-hmm. But now let's talk about what Luke was actually mm-hmm. asking about. And everybody. I mean, a lot of people ask this. What if Mark had stayed? You know, would he have, like TJ brought up, would he, or one of you brought up, would he have gotten back together with Eve eventually? Yeah. I, what, yes. would, what would have stopped him from... Yeah, that? he would have. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that, you know, he would have carried on just like he had throughout re- Reboot. You know what I mean? Up until he got to a certain point where Eve had a baby and it wasn't Tara. And yeah. I think that he would have like a breakdown moment. But then he'd carry on living and everything. But then it would just be... That's interesting because we only saw Reboot up to... Jeez, uh, the fla- the first time the Flaxons showed up, or the second time they showed up, or something. Mm-hmm. It might have been the first time. So, how would have Conquest been different? He knows some, or not even that. But Nolan left right away in that de- in that world reality. Nolan was on his side. I know, Bill, your head's starting to hurt. I can see it. I'm just. But like, Nolan was on his side from the get go. That means no Oliver, probably, right? Oh. He hugged he hugged Debbie before they left. Yeah, no Oliver. Oh yeah, he wouldn't have gone. Yep. He would. So there you go. There's the first major thing. First no major Oliver. thing. No Oliver. After that, um, do they? <laughs> do they? Do you think that maybe they would have attacked the Viltrumites head on before they could send Anissa? Before they could send Conquest? Maybe. And even then, Mark would have Nolan. So Mark and Nolan would probably have been what able about to the take Viltrumite on. War? I think it would have stopped before it even got to that point. I think Anissa would have showed up. Mark and Nolan together would have taken her down. Okay. Then Conquest would have followed behind. Mark and Nolan could have taken him. Easily. And then they take on... They go to the Coalition and attack the attack the Rag before they even get did, a chance. Did Oliver have any major effect on the world up until he was an adult? No, no. I don't think so. He killed... Um, the Maulers. The Maulers. Which came back. Yeah, they came back anyways. I think it would have just could have done without Oliver. I think it, yeah, I think it would have just been over sooner if he had stayed. And well, obviously, which was I mean, kind he, of the point. Yeah, well, yeah, he, yeah. yeah they, I mean, that was the spaghetti monster. What the he promised. He said, you know, you could save so many lives, and think about all the lives you would have saved. That wouldn't conquest would, never would have messed up Eve. You know, Rex probably wouldn't have died. Oh, TJ. You know, we've got no because the Viltrumite War still because he no wait because he went back even. Even before Angstrom Levy, so he could have stopped it. He could have stopped anything, he, any kind of... He could have stopped Angstrom Levy from even finishing the whole... Process? Process. Yeah. He would have known that he was going to be there. Yeah. It makes you wonder, though. This is very uh, butterfly effect. Because by him stopping Angstrom Levy from completing that, <clears throat> would it have caused something else? That's what would I'm saying. Would Angstrom Levy's son I have, feel like... have done something sooner... Which would have led to... But what led to the Invincible War was Invincible beating the fucking shit out of him in another dimension and then the technicians coming and grabbing him. Right. Yeah, so no technicians. I think that that we really should, and this is why I think that this could take an entire episode, we should spend a week going going through, going through, and draw a line through every single story point. Mark knew about it. This is what would happen. This wouldn't would happen. And what would happen here at Branch Off. Yeah? I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. Do you work need We need to draw this out. Do you work in an hour? We need to just take a week, a week off of work, and just get blueprints and go over this. But you could. We need to figure this out. I think that's really really cool. How would have Mm -hmm. dinosaurs have been different? You know what I mean? Like, he would have Mm -hmm. known he was coming. Exactly. But that's what I mean. Like, does that mean... That means relationships aren't formed, potentially. Yeah. But know, Mark, it's... but Mark already, yeah, he already experienced dinosaurs like flooding, right? Flooding mm-hmm. everything, and that was before reboot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that oh, yeah. was before reboot. Oh yeah. So would he have? He has that knowledge. He has that like yeah, that ability to understand that kind of different. sacrifice. What it would his? What would it? I mean, obviously we. What? It, how? Okay, so when are we getting into Minority Report? areas though where he's stopping people before they're doing things like i feel like he's going to cause just as many problems right because you don't know what stopping what if dinosaurs doing that stopped some calamity yeah like or killed Him blowing some future up Vegas. villain you know yeah. what i mean killed a, a villain right and now somebody else is going to show up because if there's someone that shows up that mark didn't know about the first time around they mm-hmm. could still show up 
Like, and that would fuck everything up because because let's, that let's say it happens, reaction. yeah, let's say it happens well before he meets the blue spaghetti monster. So there's still lots of things that he needs to change. But because of that one thing, it fucked up everything else that was going to happen, and he can't mm. stop those other things from happening. This is why I feel like we need to we need we need schematics. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, I don't care how tired you are. Take off take take off work. All right, what else is what else does Luke have? Luke for also us? Luke also said. What if Krypton didn't blow up, but instead the Viltrumites awesome. flew through it? So that's the reason why Krypton was destroyed, because the Viltrumites was, was Krypton. Was Think of Krypton. it that way. Mm. Superman and Supergirl find out, and the Kryptonian Viltrumite war ensues. Who wins? Does General Zod and company join forces with Supes or the Viltrumites? Kryptonians. So it's I, I, Kryptonians I, I, versus it Viltrumites. Su- it sucks to say. But Kryptonians would fuck up some Voltramites. No, they absolutely I think they would not. Would. The are, only are, thing... Are, wait, are, are Kryptonians more indestructible, even though they have... No. The only thing that makes Kryptonians indestructible is our yellow sun. Yeah, but we're we're basing this off of... Off of what? All the... Earth. Uh, Kry- the... Krypton is no more. Where Where is this fight taking place? Okay, but if they're fighting... If they're fighting anywhere else in the galaxy or the universe, it doesn't matter where, the Viltrumites will always be stronger because they're not affected by okay. the radiation of fucking... That's, I'm that's, not that is kind of a good point, I'm not though. disagreeing. That's a really good point. Because think about it. If Thrag had taken over the entire universe, everything except Earth, it's like, well, Superman sorry, that's the only place you're when he's strong. not around the Earth. Right. So then fuck you. You can't have this one. So it's like they're trapped. Yeah. All right. So the Kryptonians would lose. Hands down. They only they have also, powers if they're... Un- they they're, also have Kryptonite. Which is a weakness that can be exploited. I mean, yes, the Viltrumites have the Scourge virus and certain audio frequencies, but I feel like the I feel like the uh, Viltrumites would have mined if you, Krypton somehow. They would have they would have gotten Kryptonite. If you have if you have Superman and Mark on Earth fighting, I feel like Superman could. Super, I think Superman, probably Superman win. would fuck him up. Yeah, Superman would probably win just yeah. because he's like so fast you can't even see him. Yep. you know what I mean. And has laser vision and frost breath and all that other stuff. But he I don't know. Power every but week. if Mark lays his hands on him, like, Superman's not indestructible. No. Neither is Mark. I th- feel like, I don't know, I feel, obviously there's no science behind this, <laughs> but I feel that like the Superman, Superman you is know. more indestructible than Mark is. I don't know if he's as indestructible. I feel like he has more powers and he's maybe faster, maybe not even stronger. Like, I like to think I he's... think that if that if Invincible got his hand, his hands around... Uh, Clark's neck and or Superman and Superman got his hands around You think Invincible, Superman could crush his I throat? would be worried for Invincible. I agree. Not so much should we, Superman. Should we maybe find... So what references do we have? Like... I mean, we don't read Superman well, well, at all. Well, we don't, but and even if we did, yeah, there's so many different. Fun here, yeah, man. there's so just many. Just have a good time. There's so many different versions <laughs> of Superman, and yeah. which one do you take? Some are stronger, some are immune to certain things. Like, it's just whatever you think, you know. And I, I just think that on Earth, I have a feeling Superman, Superman would beat him. Probably win. Yeah, but I think you're right. I think the Viltrumites have the advantage of the universe mm-hmm. on their side. I don't know. Right. Luca finishes this off by saying, uh, on a different note, it was refreshing to hear the various voicemails from listeners on what Invincible has meant to them. Uh, I know there have been many like-minded folks out there, and hearing their voices made it all the more real. And he, he's talking about the Kirkman episode, our, yeah. our 50th episode. I'm sure you get tired of hearing it, but keep having fun creating new episodes of this awesome podcast. We never get tired Best. of Best. Luke that. from L.A. What's that? We never get tired of hearing. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, now, do we want to share one? Who wants to go first? TJ, go first. Me? I'll go. Okay, go. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Right. go. All right, hold on. Let me see. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. This is going to be a pretty easy one. Eve didn't come back when Conquest killed her. What happens? Mark calls Amber. I was like, yo, what's <laughs> up, girl? <laughs> no. You, no, you, know, you so. see how strong I've become? So what's I've up? obviously thought about this because I... It, I wrote mm. it down. Do you guys have anything off the top of your head? I think he would... I think we would have a couple... You know... At least ten issues of him being evil. Yeah. Not evil, but like... So then that, Punisher. Okay, then that's going to bring up a good debate between but us But I think he I would think. find his way back. Do you? That's I what do. I want to talk about. He's always... I think, but he was even like... He but was, he's never went full, like, 
fucking. I don't know. He sided with Dinosaurus to like allow. But that was for the that was the for the better of good. He said he they made a deal like no killing innocents. Okay, like, but they, but he, the most evil being, he ever got was killing Anon. Being a hero, being a hero is bullshit. That was the most evil he I think he got. Not really? What did he do that was more? That even that's not evil because Anon was like fucking going after his children, going right. after his daughter okay. and his wife. What did he do that was more evil than that? I mean, that? Black's, not, not I mean black he, and he blue didn't. suit invincible held Gary over a ledge and then threw him up against a wall, gave him a black eye or whatever. Oh, no, after he gave Amber a black oh, eye. But again, yeah. that's still not that. Threw him against a wall, TJ. That's still not. Killed somebody. A child. No, 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 I know. I'm. I'm you're saying what else is there? Yeah. Um, But when Eve died, no, it was... Yeah, when Eve died, Mark was in his black suit phase. And that was when he was, you know, in his bad phase. I think that uh, he would have become Mohawk Mark, in a sense. Because Mohawk Mark said, I lost somebody, you know, and that's mm -hmm. what happened. So we kind of got a peek at what could have happened to him. Because all those evil Marks said that they lost somebody close to them or something happened to them. So I think he would have gone evil. And I don't think he would have come back from it. I think he would have stayed kind of evil, but I think before he got super evil, like all the other bad alternate marks, I actually think he would have died. I think that the second time, if, if Conquest beat him, or if he beat, uh, if he killed Eve, and then in a rage, Mark killed Conquest, and then the same story, you know, storyline happened, Conquest came back in the Viltrumite War, Conquest would have killed him. I think Nolan would, could have brought him back. Or killed him. No, Nolan would have brought Mark back. Yeah, to, to, the, to, to the, the good, to the yeah. light side. I don't think so. I think that Mark. Well, uh, I think that Mark would have had after less, all I feel that like Nolan gave had, up for the good. Yeah, by the, at that point. In the, in but the no story. one also didn't lose Debbie or like his son, and he didn't like lose something that was making him human. Because yeah, Eva's always because so. because Eva's always been a sounding board for Mark. It's that's, no one. Yeah, I know that that's that's why he would have won evil. I'm saying that Nolan could have brought him back from evil. No. Why? I don't think so. Because Mark suffered more of a loss than no one ever has. I agree with that. I, I'm not disagreeing. But I'm saying not... I don't think that that Nolan would have brought him back because they could relate to each other. Because you're right. They can't relate mm -hmm. to each other. But the love that he has for his father, that's what this whole... I feel like this whole series has been about. Is about it's, it's a story about a boy and his dad. Mm -hmm. I think that Nolan could have brought him back. Which is why I don't... I don't see him staying bad or going back to good i see him being going towards bad and then dying i see like him not being able to fight how does he die i think conquest kills him the second fight with conquest he cannot fight him back after knowing that eve killed him i picture that fight going down the same way they fly into the planet he and eve. conquest yeah conquest kills mark because mark doesn't have doesn't have it in him he's anymore. like just fuck it just kill me just not like, even that he says just kill or... me but i just don't think he has he just doesn't i feel like he's broken you know yeah. That's what I see. That's my what if. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to do another fan one? Sure. Uh, our friends over at the Earth 919 podcast wrote uh, to us on Twitter and responded and said, Dinosaurus is one of my favorite characters in Invincible. Oh, no. His beliefs were so dynamic and made him at times completely unpredictable. What if, instead of blowing up Los Angeles, no, instead of blowing up Las Vegas, he blew up Mark's hometown, killing his family and friends? Do you think it pushes Mark to the evil like the Invincible War? And if so, what if he becomes so powerful that when Thrag and Conquest come, he easily defeats them? So this is... Why did you say, it. oh no, when you said Because my what, if involves, my what if involves dinosaurs. Oh, okay. So, blowing up Baltimore instead of uh, Las Vegas, if it is Baltimore, but Mark's hometown. Uh, well, okay. Now, so, now, so now we're kind of mixing things that we've somewhat already talked about. And a lot of these what ifs are going to have to do with life and death, but... If Mark would have lost Debbie, Oliver, Eve, pretty much everyone in his hometown mm -hmm. except Nolan, would that have been enough to push him to evil? You know, I feel like we want to always say yes. Yeah, because he's so susceptible to it. But he's really not. Like, he's overcome a lot. And Mark is a very strong-willed character. That's like, true. Don't you think? I mean, obviously he would fucking destroy dinos dinosaurs. He would never side. No, no. Him, and it, yeah, it would have ended and, there. 
Dinosaurus would be a foolish villain then because Las, Las Vegas gets way more sunlight and that's why he did it there oh, well, as yeah. opposed to Baltimore. Like, yeah. Why would he even do it to Baltimore? You know. Another reason that we don't know because this is all theoretical. Right. Hypothetical. Both. Both. Of um, theoreticals. You also said sub, suspect. Susceptible? You, susceptible. you didn't say suscept, susceptible though. You yeah, said yeah. something. You put a P in there somewhere. Susceptible. So you put two P's in there. Sepestical? <laughs> you put we're gonna listen back. We'll see. Okay. Uh, Rewind a little bit. He fucks up, I swear. Oh god. Um also, if Mark ever gets pushed to that point, would he have been strong enough to uh that Thragon Conquest could have been e- easily defeated? No, wait, so if so, what if become if he becomes so powerful that when Thrag and Conquest come, he easily defeats them? Well, he already did defeat them once. Easily defeating them would have been nice. He would have so that means he probably would have killed Conquest. Mm-hmm. during the first fight and then killed him again uh, or killed um, Thrag the first time they fought in the Viltrumite War. I mean, how could he have not known that he... How could he have killed him anymore in the during the first fight? He flattened his face. Well, he got messed up first. Remember the cover? Like, yeah. Mark got messed how up. How many people got invincible punched and lived? Uh, or Viltrumite punched? Punched, punched Vultrum, through the, through the punched. stomach, chest area? Yes. Um, Nolan. Eve, Nolan... Nolan almost twice. Oliver didn't. I feel like Mark... No, Mark, it was just... Oh, oh no, Mark, Mark got, it was. It Mark was, you're right. all the way through. And it had, it had his intestines held get on. fucked and, up yeah. in this in this series, and the only one that died is Rexplode until Nolan at the end. No yeah. one didn't die from a from an invincible punch, though, or a Viltrumite punch. Ultimately, he did. No, he no he didn't. He was held by the throat, and the, he was like, I'm going to oh, charge my skeleton right. somehow, right. even though I'm I can't charge robot. biological... Oh, yeah, robot Stuff. Even Robot fucking survived it. In a way, he did. Yeah. All right. You guys got one of your what ifs to share? So my what if is it's two part. Are we each doing one? We're all just, we're just gonna bounce around. So I have okay, a couple. Right. I have a couple. Yeah. All right. So the first one is what would have happened if an invincible one hundred it actually was Mark that dinosaur is killed. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's my first one. Well, Which we I don't really like because... Let's, let's do one at a time. Okay, all right. So what happens if when the dinosaur squishes... Squished his head. Mark said that was the real Mark. That, that was the real clone. Mark. That was issue 100 of Invincible. Mm-hmm. I would have believed. Which is... I mean, Kirkman has said before that Rick Rimes isn't safe. Mm-hmm. Like, it, w- it would have been yeah. believable. Like, yeah. w- he could have and that's killed why, Mark. And that's why I look back to see if Eve was pregnant because if she was, then okay. So yeah, we so have, she was. So we have that. And also that was after the Anissa incident, right? A hundred? No. No, that was one eleven. Oh, okay. Yeah, so no Marky. So no Marky. So Marky wouldn't have been born. Yep. Uh, would the universe have survived without Mark? That's another question that we keep kind of coming back to. It would have, because Robot. Robot would have kept it going. Yep. Eventually, he would have... So that... I how, had would a, comic, so how would the comic have continued, though? I had a... That's what I was... I think they would have time-hopped to... Um, or it would have been cool if they Terra. time-hopped to Terra. Yeah. If it was even Terra, it could have been Marky. Who knows? Or maybe they would have had, uh, you know, Zandale. Zandal for a Could while. Could you imagine yeah. how, how badass would it have been if Zandal continues it, and then it time hops, and it's like fucking, like, apocalyptic. Eve has a baby and stuff like that. Like, it does, mm-hmm. like, the world's not kind of ending, but it's, like, dystopian. It you almost know looks I mean? like that, uh, the, the back of um, Walking Dead issue 50, where it's kind of yeah alien yeah. but you know yeah. also zombie like uh, that yeah. but and then could you imagine like eve leading a resistance against the viltrumites that have taken over the planet or something like that Because she's powerful enough she and could then, have carried it even if she's in the i feel like even zandal could have carried it as even the character that he was yeah. like continued writing him the way he was what if he joined robot what if they were kind of bad and you knew that they were bad reading it even mm-hmm. though zandal was the main character of the comic that you're reading so, that would have been kind of a cool take so meanwhile all all this is happening and the Thrag and the Viltrumites are building up an army. Would they have been able to hold back Thrag? Would, and this was one of my what ifs, but I wasn't sure how to word it. Could Robot have stopped Thrag and his armies? No. We never really got to see that fight. No, I don't think so. He, he helps for a little bit in space. He couldn't. But he do you think Robot and his armies could have stopped Thrag? He could what stop the Thrag one Viltrumite. ultimately want? Revenge? And would he? Would he? They need to protect Earth against Thrag. They. Mm, 
Well, they were colonizing. They were taking over everything. And did Thrag know that the uh, that Earthlings were compatible? Because in that case, then he would want them. For what? To reproduce. Because it's because they were all they they were dwindling their numbers. Remember? Mm. You know, because that. Oh no! Wait, the Moon fight took place after a hundred. I feel like either way he would have but found out. But the Viltrumite out. War took place before. All right, so but Mark's before dead. one hundred, so he does know that they're compatible so, because Nolan. So yeah. Mark is dead. He knows that Invincible is. Nolan's around exists. still. So Nolan could have yeah, been there. Yeah, Nolan would have been able to do it too. I think he would have been able to hint. I think they would have been able to get away. I just with really it. like the idea of like a very bleak like whole year. Where Again, you time coming pops. into like a very somber. But then, but then Terra being like the uprising. I'd and, love and that. That sounds cool. I like the cool? idea of, need to have... of Invincible like Invincible dying and it going to shit. Mm-hmm. And then the the hopeful moment again. Terra mm-hmm. being the hope in this is Terra saving, saving mm-hmm. it. That'd be interesting. That would be very cool. Hmm. Yeah. Do you want to know my second part? No, not yet. Okay, right. We're going to bounce around. Uh, our friends over uh, in the UK, the Nerds Chatting Podcast. Uh, Oi! Good job, guys. Whoa! Damn! Oh, on point! All wow! Right. Uh, they said, what if Mark was sent to the Marvel DC Universe for good, uh, for, to the Marvel or DC Universe for good by Angstrom and never made it back? What happened to Invincible uni- Invincible's universe? And is Mark stronger than Superman Hulk in this new home universe? Does Mark fight for good there or take over? Okay, so a couple questions in here. One, we've kind of already talked about what happens to a Invincible universe without Mark in it. Mm-hmm. So I think the same thing kind of applies to that. Let's talk about Mark landing. Let's, talk, let's go right from what happened in uh, issue 33. Angstrom opens up a portal. Mark flies through it, bumps into Doc Ock and fighting Spider-Man or whatever. What uh, what happens with Invincible in the Marvel universe? He does. He doesn't turn bad. Yeah, I don't think. I he don't would think he would turn bad at all. I think he. I. 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 I'm hard pressed to find. To to accept the fact that Reed Richards couldn't send him back. You know what I mean? Like, isn't Fantastic Four all about dimensions and tra- space travel and all that kind of stuff? I feel like he would find his way back. And then if he didn't, I don't know. I guess he'd be like one of the Avengers, right? He would fuck up the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Name someone more powerful than Mark. In the Marvel Universe? Yeah. A bajillion. A, a bajillion hero? different people. Name one. Oh, a right hero, now. maybe. Name one. Villains. Name. Galactus eats planets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so does the blue spaghetti monster, for all we know. Thanos. He beat Thanos. You think one-on-one. Thanos, in my opinion, is like I think is you like don't conquest. know enough about Thanos. Granted, I don't know enough about Thanos. Okay, well, but knowing what I do, Thanos, I think, would fuck be a, Mark that'd, up. That'd be a cool fight. Thanos has really is magic. Cool fight. Uh, Thanos is more than just strong. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be interesting, though. What about him going to the DC universe? I think it's the same same scenario. Same scenario. There, I feel like Where the DC universe Thanos, has... there's a dark side. I feel like DC has more of those, those type of heavy hitters. The, mm-hmm. you know, Captain Marvel, the Superman, the... You know, Green Lanterns. I feel like he'd fit more in that because it is a little bit more cosmic mm-hmm. on the ground floor, mm-hmm. in my opinion. I, I agree. Think. I think that if he were to fit into one of the universes, it would be DC better. Yeah, definitely. You know, he'd have more of a challenge, I think. In the yeah, DC I think Marvel. He would. He'd kind of steamroll. Yeah. He'd be basically Thor, but more powerful, and without the hammer, he doesn't even need it. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, no. Is he more powerful and then, than I, Thor? Yeah. And the nerd chatting asked about Hulk. Mark versus Hulk. I just think... This kind of comes I back think, to the Superman. I feel Superman. like Hulk is just always a win-all. He, you just can't stop him. He's just he, so he, unstoppable. Anything that, like, gets stronger, the more it get Like, you can't kill him. Does Hulk yeah. get... Is that a thing? I think... He gets stronger... In the movie, he tried to shoot himself... He talked about how he tried to shoot himself, God. and he spit out the bullet. The other guy spit out the bullet. God, yeah. it's one of the best lines. It is yeah. probably the, one of the best lines in the first Avengers movie. Um, I was just about to ask something. But Hulk's blood. Oh, uh, before. So, yeah. so okay. Yeah. So not to the death then. Who stops who? Does Mark tire out the Hulk? Does Mark stop the Hulk? Or does the Hulk beat the shit out of I literally... Mark? Here's what I see happening in my head. I see Mark flying around, the Hulk grabbing him out of the air and snapping him in half. <laughs> I feel like... That's what I feel, I feel like would like happen. looking at every fight that Invincible's been in, like the worst fight he's probably been in, I mean, I, I know that he... The, the environment of the sun was one thing, but him in Conquest, mm-hmm. I feel like Hulk would fuck him up. I think yeah. so too. Fuck him up. Yeah. I think so too. 
Yeah, I don't he think... barely made out made it out of Conquest alive. And and this is and this is funny. This is something we talked about when we were talking about um, uh, on our last last episode, the Guarding the Globe episode, where Guarding the Globe dealt with a like world ending villain mm-hmm. that had the power to like end the world set. instantly. Yeah, set. And we talked about how most of Mark's villains are just Strong. brute strength. Yeah. and but did you ever feel like when we were reading Invincible from beginning to end that his villains weren't imposing? That his villains weren't enough? No. That's what I mean. Like, they, they were perfectly matched, and you never got the sense that they weren't too, they weren't strong enough mm-hmm. to be worthy as a villain. So that's Even interesting. Even Kirkman talked about that with us when he was talking about it. He's like, as I was writing it, I'm thinking to myself, constantly thinking, how am I going to top this? Yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you want to give us one of yours, TJ? Sure. What? I don't know which one to give. You want, like, a brain teaser? Or you want, like, an easy one? Anything. We're just chatting. Let's do an easy one. All right. Uh, In the first issue of Invincible, we get that moment where he wants powers, and he takes a garbage bag, and he throws it up in the air, and he's like, finally. Mm -hmm. What if that never happens? So Bus Crisis asked that on Twitter. What if Mark never actually got his powers? I think that's a really interesting one. What would the comic even be about, then? Well, well, think about it. What is it about he, at that moment? About, what is happening? He's about a boy who doesn't have, or a teenager that doesn't have superpowers, but whose more, father is the most famous and why superhero in the universe. Why was it or, important? Earth. In the, in the comic bill, why was it important that Mark got his powers? Because the comic book is called Invincible. No, no, no. Was... To Nolan, why was it important? Oh, so the oh, oh there you go. So okay, what does it mean? What happens? So Nolan knows that or thinks that they're not compatible. Yeah. So then he would just either destroy it. I disagree. It. I don't think that it was important Did, to Nolan, but I think that it was a. I think that was the point. A, I'm sorry, it wasn't a necessity to Nolan. I never thought that it was I a necessity. It was only, like now that you got your powers, we're gonna take over the fucking world. Yeah. But I think that I don't think it would well, have stopped him. From I feel like doing Nolan it. talked about that at some point that he had accepted the fact that this was his life and he had fallen in love and he had had a son and he was happy but when mark got his powers it was like something happened to him and he's like i have oh, to yeah, i have I'm to go back from, to i have yeah, to go back to yeah. work so would that have never happened and do, would the viltrumites have shown up would anissa have shown up for nolan and been like hey uh have you taken over yet are they not compatible are we just going to rule them like what's going to happen mm-hmm. i think that would have been interesting i still my opinion is that i think that he he wanted to be a superhero I think he still would have been one. You think so? I do. Mark? I think he would have been. So like do you think he? You think he? think You think he runs into the team team and then like? Uh, I don't think he would have joined the team team. I think he would have been like a Spider Man type thing where he he tries it out on his own. Obviously, mm. Spider Man has but powers. But what could but he do? That... He doesn't even have. He wouldn't stand it. There is not one non super powered hero in Invincible. Name someone. That doesn't have any powers at all. Shit, somebody's, Even Best Tiger can... Somebody's yelling into the I know, there, is, the there is somebody. I swear there was. There's not. D.A. Sinclair. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't know. I swear there was. But that's just So even D.A. Sinclair like, is super smart and can yeah. build a suit. Uh, you know, it's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I, I'd like to think that he would have been able to do that, TJ. But I, I it's also see Bill's side where it's like, what would he have been able to do? But right? I also have a hard time thinking like, what would the comic have been about if it's focusing on Mark well, for it, three pages? Well, yeah, but then it, pages. but then it would have been. It wouldn't have been about him. I think it would have been about Omni Man. Yeah, I don't think that it would have been. That would have been an interesting little twist. I don't think. Yeah, I, I'm not about, about the son who didn't get powers. I'm yeah. not trying to sell the comic book that we're creating. <laughs> I think that we could coming out this fall. <laughs> uh, all right, now uh, let's do let's do one from Andy. Uh, Andy says, "What if Mark chose to stay in fixing the in the re- in the reboot arc?" Sorry. Oh crap, we already did talk about that one. Um, oh, Connor. CT57. Explode lived. <laughs> what if Rexplode lived? I obviously have thought about this. I didn't add it to one of my questions because as sad as, sad as it is to say, I feel like it was his time. What yeah. else would he have done if he had moved forward? So the, I want him to, but I the, wanted more Rex. The thing that Connor brought up, and I think is a great a great thing I wanted to see, was say that Robot and Monster will come back from the Flaxon dimension and they're older. 
Now you've got a Rex and another Rex who kind of look the same age, you know. Mm-hmm. I would it would have been cool to just see them have a interact moment together, like other. interact, yeah. like mm-hmm. you or me. You you have my body, but you have someone else's brain, and you're this villain. Like what would have happened during? I feel like there would have been a crazy scene between the two of them during I feel issue one like eleven. They looked like each other when he died, though. No, he was a little boy then. Because remember him screaming and then him taking his name at the funeral? Yeah, I remember him taking his name. I thought he was older, though. Mm -mm. Uh, But I think during 111, when Robot was killing everyone, I think there would have been an awesome scene between the two of them, and I think he would have killed Rex then. I think that would have been neat. That would have been cool. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think he would have been on the Guardians of the Globe? Yeah. Yes. He still would have stuck with them? Oh, yeah. Because I also think it would have been cool if he would have gone solo, like he did in uh, Adam, Eve, and Rex Blode. Like where he was kind of that black ops. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. There was too much going on in the world for him, for him to, to be, do that. Yeah, to be solo. True. I don't know. I like that one though. I don't even know because you know what stinks is that there like he didn't have he was alone. He didn't. He wasn't in a relationship. He didn't. He there wasn't was no. Duplicate. There he was no loose. Eve. Like there's no. Lo- there was no loose ends with with Rex. No. That's why TJ's even saying it was kind of his time. Yeah. Because, like, if he was with Eve, then he could be like, oh, well, then Eve never would have met Mark and blah, blah, blah. Or, like, That's true. Duplicate and, and Immortal would have never gotten together, but they, they no one was with him. He was alone. It was time for him to go. But maybe we would have been introduced to uh, a new female member of the Guardians of the Globe, and he would have had a relationship with them, and th- mm-hmm. there could have been new stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we would have, I, I think we would have learned to like him. Can you imagine if it would have come around where he's not only, like, you yeah, you like, hate to like everybody him. Everybody No, him. but you... you you like him because he's an asshole, but what if he just completely turned around and he was just like awesome? Like everybody was like, "Oh man, remember when we hated him?" I feel like he was like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Ben Quinlan over on Twitter says, "What if Mark stayed with Amber?" So what if uh, that Eve from the other dimension never said, "I love you. You have to. You have to get back together with me," or you have to tell Eve? Mm-hmm. And Mark never made that move, and he just stayed with Amber. He wouldn't have grown as a hero. He wouldn't have. Yeah, I agree. She would have held him back. He wouldn't have. Yeah, because Eve helped him start their business with the cell phone and be the the individual hero mm-hmm. guy that he was. Invincible Incorporated. She also, like I like I always I've always said and I and especially at the end that Eve was like the most level headed character in the comic. Yeah. And always Rational. brought yeah and always brought Mark to a place of understanding. And everything that was happening. And it kind of reminds me of, like, Africa. Like, Amber just would have never been able to fully understand mm-hmm. what's going on and appreciate what it... it not appreciate, but you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Mark and Eve had that whole conversation about why Amber's not like them. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if it would have worked. Like, I just don't that's see it working. Why, that's the reason why I like, couldn't have. What if he would have disappeared for five years or There's disappeared no for the Vultureman War? She would have moved on. I mean, yeah. even Eve didn't understand that. There's no way Amanda yeah. ever would but, have. But, but, but not the five-year thing. Amber. But Not, Amber, not even the five-year thing, but what about the Vultureman War where it was several months? It's like, it, it was starting to happen in the Amber relationship and she was having a hard time with him constantly going, like going to Mars and whatnot. I think it wouldn't have... I don't think it just... He would always have... He, he'd always been worrying... Because it like, very Eve, stressful. Amber would be yeah. fucking dead. Yeah, she would be. She dead She would have right been away. killed by somebody. Angstrom. Any, somebody vi- any villain that would have attacked her. her. Yeah. I mean, robot. I mean, robot attacked Eve, and she defended herself somewhat. Mm-hmm. I mean, as much as she could have. Yeah. When she was pregnant, Amber, he would have killed Amber probably. Amber wouldn't have survived on. And then just think, if Mark had been in love with her even more because they had been together for so long, that would have destroyed Mark. Mm-hmm. Eesh. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> That doesn't sound <laughs> good. Doesn't sound, man. We should we should maybe end. Uh, ben also asked, "What if Nolan had never become Omni Man and instead subjugated Earth from the start? So mm-hmm. he shows up on Earth and just takes over." Yeah. It's over. Yeah. I don't think. I, I think that they would have realized that they can repopulate with Earth, and Earth would have become a Viltrumite breeding ground. You don't so, think that so the then, Guardians could have taken him, taken him on? Like, oh my God, no. Not at that point. You don't think Immortal could have? If he no. had just come right in was like, try, um, kick the fucking door down? No. I think Immortal and him could have. Know, maybe. Because in Reboot, they kind of stopped him, all the Guardians, with Mark's help. Because they'll With re- Mark's help, though. Yeah. 
I feel like the Guardians could have taken him down, and I think that that's why Nolan. If took it wasn't a, ba- a surprise, that's yeah, that's why don't Nolan took a back. I think door, he, I think Nolan toy. would have taken a toll. He would have killed most of them. Mm-hmm. But I think in the end, they might have been able to take him out. I think that if he had came to Earth, you know, and did what he did and betrayed them from the start, mm-hmm. like join, gain their tr- trust quickly, killed them off quickly, then there's no way Earth would have stand, stood a chance. But with the Guardians being fully intact. Yeah. And knowing what he was up to right from the beginning, I I don't know. Man, I want to see, I wanted to see more of that, more of the Guardians of the Globe, the, the OG Guardians yeah. of the Globe, because it basically it's basically Justice League, but it would have been cool. Yeah. I have another. I got one for you, but unless you no, okay. you got a second one, Bill. You give your second one. Okay, okay, all right, all right. What if Mark never killed Dinosaurus? What if Dinosaurus was allowed to continue to? Would he have been? Would he have ended up being like Da Sinclair, or do you think he would have been bad again? My, I don't think he would have been bad. I mean, he said Mark needs to kill him because he's not going to stop. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But more my more my mind kept going was what would dinosaurs have done oh. during the robot takeover? I think dinosaurs probably could have stopped. Oh, during like the I initial one where he's killing him. everybody. Yeah, he probably would have joined him because he sees things logically like that. Mm-hmm. Right. I think robot. I actually he, think Robot would have gone to him first and I said, "I think you're absolutely right." Said, "Hey, let's do this," and together they would have been unstoppable. Unstoppable. I mean, they Robot was already unstoppable, True. so he probably would. Robot would have probably thought that Dinosaurus was too much of a loose cannon. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, Robot didn't want to kill thousands and millions of people, like to save the Earth. Like, Robot just wanted to make peace, yeah. not save the planet. Dinosaurus yeah. wanted to save the planet. Hmm. Do you think dinosaurs could have stopped them? No. No. Really? No. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Do you think that if Robot was that much of a threat to Invincible, I think that Robot would have. He would have outsmarted him somewhere. That would have been a cool like game of wits. Like they both would have kept outwitting each other. Mm -hmm. But I think in the end, Robot would have gotten the upper hand. I think Robot's smarter, and Robot can also. Well, I mean, dinosaurs built bombs and stuff like that, and. I don't know. I just think in the end, Dinosaurus is a big dinosaur, and Robot has several drones. Like, he just can he I think he would have overtook him somehow. Dinosaurs can blow him up, but more would come. Mm-hmm. But then, yeah. that, but then that leads you to, like, when he tricked Thrag. I was like, oh, I already put yeah. the bombs. I, I could see uh, Dinosaurus destroying everything. In a, it, like, yeah. a, as in, like, an ultimatum. Like, you kill me, everything's gone. Right. And then they, they both live on separate hemispheres and just kind of rule their own. Oh, that would be fucking wicked. I don't know. I have one that ties into that. I like this one. What if Robot and Monster Girl never came back I knew from you the were Facts on Dimension? I knew you were going to have a Robot-Monster Girl question. I knew it. Well, it's not even so much Monster Girl, but it's more if Robot never came back. I mean, yeah, there would be no Monster Girl either, but... I feel like that's an easy answer. So what would have happened? They would, I mean, the whole reason why um, Mark and Eve left Earth was because of Robot. Yeah. They would have stayed on Earth, and they would have just carried on. So they would have stayed on Earth. And this is kind of another thing like we talked about in the beginning. Think about all the different things that have happened. So that means Robot doesn't kill everybody, which means Cecil's alive, Mm -hmm. which means, you know, Shape Smith, or, you know, whatever, Beck Sampson, they're all alive. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess, does Mark not leave the planet, which means the Spaghetti Monster doesn't find him, or does the Spaghetti Monster find him somewhere else? Like... It had nothing to do with that planet, right? Yeah, I think the spaghetti yeah, monster could have found him no matter what. Would have found him. Okay, so he still would have been gone for five years. He comes back to five years later on Earth, and Earth has changed. For for one, when Robot did all that, he made Earth better. Right. So Earth is still in the shitty state that it was. It in a shitty continued. state though. It was. It, it was it? constantly being threatened by world-ending villains. Right. I guess. And it never was like that. There was no petty crime. Like, like think of what William was saying. Like, everything was But do you think better. that after five years of... I mean, you still have a ton of heroes on Earth. Yeah. Five years without Invincible and it comes back to, like, just fucking devastation. No, no, I'm saying no, I'm saying it still would have been the same, right. same old. Okay. I, I think agree. It, I think Mark would have came back, it would have been the same old. Where does that put Thrag and his whole plans? I think in the same spot. They show up. Or Mark has to go into space to fight him, and you think the same thing happens? They end up luring him back to Earth to use 
those heroes, the Viltrumites on Earth, to I help. There would have been a lot more there casualties. There were a lot more heroes, though, on Earth that could have helped. Without robots? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think if the fight went right to Earth, there would have been a lot more deaths. I think it'd been, it would have been really interesting to see how Cecil would have handled the Viltrumites showing up, Thrag, and all that. I miss Cecil. We're reading Invincible Universe. Mm-hmm. Our next episode is going to be all Invincible Universe, Volume 1 and 2. I miss him too. I miss Cecil. Yeah. TJ, you got another? I do. Go for it. But I'm taking it fucking back. Can we go back? Taking it back now? Taking it fucking take it back, way back. Take it way back. Take it way, way back. What if Thaddeus never rebelled against the Viltrumite Empire? Oh my gosh. See, uh, you don't want us to spend an afternoon on this. Oh man, holy shit, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. I win. So hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The Viltrumites were still a warring race. They right. were still killing each other to yep. breed to the strongest. The scourge virus still happened. No. Why would and the scourge virus happen? Thrag rose up, or Argo rose up. Maybe it would. I think it still happened. Why would it happen? He created it. He created Was it he as the a one weapon. That Thaddeus it? is the one who did he kill? Argyle. Argyle? Yes. Yes. Okay. So Thaddeus as in the the, guy the, with the, the creator of the coalition. Yeah. Well, yeah. the leader. Right. Of the, yeah. the leader of so the coalition. So no, no, no coalition. Right. Yeah. No scourge virus because he created it as a weapon against them. Mm-hmm. Here's the bigger one that I want mostly why I'm I still trying about. to wrap my head around this where everything would have been because that would have meant that Thrag never had a... Uh, Thrag would have never felt revenge, and that also meant that where would Nolan have been? On Voltrum. Because if he Nolan wait, still would have been if on If Thaddeus Earth. didn't kill Argyll? If he didn't rebel. He was just yeah. another Viltrumite. Yeah. Nolan would still be on Earth. Yeah, Invincible right. would still be created, but one other person wouldn't. Who? Thaddeus made the Unopens. Did he make them? He made them. Alan the Alien is the only um Unopen of his race. And they killed off all the other ones. Remember, they uh, he they they made them hybrids, yeah, and made them more powerful. Yeah, and they're they were trying kept, to breed them. They kept killing off the the weaker ones, and then Alan finally Alan was the mm-hmm. the uh, I think the, the most Viltr- the strongest one. And then they came up with like a treaty. The Viltrumites killed all of the Unop- Unopens, whatever Unopens. The Viltrumites killed all of them in their world betterment, and then Alan was one of the few remaining survivors and because they were well no there were survivors when the Viltrumites took over their planet they created a treaty between the two of them like a peace treaty well they were they were breeding them in breeding camps and trying to make them stronger right yeah in order to thing but no no alan the alien i don't know why there wouldn't have been one because he he made alan the alien as a again as another oh another you're saying because against... the coalition was breeding them was using yeah. them as breeding camps. Right. I get to use them against the Viltrumites, the Viltrumite War, or mm. Viltrumite Empire. So if Alan... So, okay. So I'm still not... That still confuses me. But Why? what would have been like if... Because I don't remember that. I don't remember the coalition being responsible for the breeding camps. Because then at one point, they were against the breeding camps. Or was it that when Alan became leader of the coalition, he put a halt to all of it? When he became a leader, he did. Yeah. And that was after yeah. that was after the peace treaty. So too. the big question is what would have been like without Alan? Which if Alan doesn't show up to mm-hmm. Earth, mm-hmm. then Mark never tells him that he's a Viltrumite and that his dad left and abandoned his post, which means Alan would have never gone back to coalition to tell them that there's a Viltrumite that had a change of heart. The coalition would have been there in the first place. Even more so. so, Nolan never gets out of prison. Yeah, that too. Because yeah. there's no way he would have gotten out without Alan. Yeah. It all falls apart, apart without Alan. And then... Why would Nolan wouldn't be in prison? Nolan got picked up by... Right, but we're still talking about them. if Thaddeus didn't rebel, right? Yeah. Okay, so why would which, Nolan be in which, prison? Which leads... Because Alan... Uh, or, excuse me. Mark and, uh, and Nolan fight the... What's his name? What's the one Viltrumite's name? Craig? I want to say Kanan. Craig? No. I forget his name. You think that if that is his name. Oh, 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 oh Lucan. 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 Yeah, fight Lucan. And, they, and then they take him. They take Nolan to, like, 
fucking the prison. prison. Right. And then Alan shows up and, like, they fuck shit up and do, they do get out. Do we think that there are a bajillion more Viltrumites, though? Hmm? If Thaddeus never rebelled. Okay. You think somebody else would have? No, I'm saying the Viltrum Empire, would it, would it be thriving? Oh, you're saying, like, if he would have never rebelled, if he would have never made the Scourge virus... Oh. Try again in a moment. Interesting. Right. Uh, <laughs> if he would have never rebelled, then there has been no scourge virus, which means the Viltrumites would have been true. So even more so, they would have just over. So, over- so how do you even know no one would have even gone to Earth because this is they would have they just, still would have because they still want to. Yeah, they conquer. would have just they would have been conquering. They wouldn't have been trying to repopulate. So Mark wouldn't have even probably existed. Yeah, there wouldn't have even been true. like a hey one Viltrumite per planet. It would be like let's all fucking just go and take <laughs> just over all it. of them. Yeah, there 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 was only one. On a planet because there were a handful of Viltrumites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. No one wouldn't have been in jail because he wouldn't have... Jeez. Like, it would have been completely different. Yeah. Why didn't you say that? I mean, the same thing with Alan. He, even before the whole Because what you thing, were saying was was the Viltrumites created the the program that created Alan. Is that what you were saying or suggesting? Yeah. But you didn't have a problem with that, but you had a problem with Nolan being in prison. Well, because it kept going. Mm. Like because then Alan wouldn't have been born, then Alan wouldn't have done this. But like, whoa, 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 no one would have even been in jail. No one wouldn't have even been in art on an Earth where Alan existed. Right. Hmm. Okay. I've got one more, and we I think we've gone through just about all of our. I got one more, and it's a quick ones. one. Let me do this one before your last one. Go ahead. What if Angstrom lived? Angstrom, oh, that's Angstrom, a good one. Angstrom ended as a kind of a good guy. He yeah. had a redeeming moment as a good guy, and with him being having the fucking power that he has. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, maybe he would have turned down any kind of help. I mean, he, he he said, I'll go to prison and I'll... Here's the thing. I think that... I can see, like, if this was actually being written, I could see Angstrom turning himself in, agreeing to go to prison, and he does go to prison, and he's held up at and the Pentagon. And they go to him for help. And they use... And, and the robot allows... Cecil. Whoever... Uh, Angstrom allows Cecil and Robot and D.A. Sinclair to utilize his powers. Like I mean, that's what Cecil does. Yeah. With past v- villains who, mm-hmm. you know, turn over a new leaf. He uses them for, for good. He could have made a... I mean, he could have fucked shit yeah. up. That's probably why he had to die. That's huge. It he's is too powerful. He he's sure. he's, he's, he's too powerful. He's way too powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a quick one. This isn't mine, but I'm looking at the cover of this hardcover of Invincible right now. What if uh, Battle Beast would have won? What if Battle Beast beat Thrag? Would it have just ended it there and... I don't know. Yeah, because Because then, then he... Wait. He would have kept going. Battle Beast would have kept going. Would it ultimately have been Battle Beast no, versus Mark? No, Battle Beast was good. But he needs to keep going. He would have... Oh, there's a, there's plenty of evil in the universe, Ryan. How if, dare you? If Battle Beast was strong enough to beat Thrag. Which he was close. But he was fucking close. No, no, no. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Let's say, let's say he was strong enough. He was stronger than Stra- Thrag. Let, now, now let's put that in our minds. That, he, that Battle Beast is stronger than Thrag. Oh, yeah. One on one with with Invincible. Yeah. I, I worry for Invincible. But, <laughs> but could he have done what Thrag did? He's not as smart as Thrag, I don't think. I don't well, think yeah, he could just... have built what Thrag built. No, that's Battle true. Beast wouldn't have turned bad. There's I don't know why we're even There's no this. way. <laughs> There's no way Battle Beast could have done what's right. The only yeah. reason this he wouldn't have makes been a me so mad, the only reason why Battle Beast lost was because he, t- he took a sword to his own stomach. He wanted to it to be it a fair. fair fight. And that is fair. Yeah. Like, fair is fair. If the Ragnars weren't released, who yeah, knows? See, we'll, we'll say if he didn't cut himself. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. If he didn't cut himself and he beat Thrag, we would be sitting here going, well, was he stronger? Right, because Thrag Not was... only that, hate to be a fucking, fucking, you know, fucking... But he did do that to his fucking self. That's a choice he made. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, screw it. Throws the shield to the side. Oh, that's a bad decision. No, no it's, it's a good, good decision. decision. Uh, Role right? models. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that was quoting it, too, and I couldn't... Oh, man. <laughs> that was tough. Uh, All right. Uh, My last one. Let's see. What if Anissa had lived and not died? At the end, uh, during the end of all things, Mark, you wouldn't have gone bad at all. That's what I was getting exactly. at. So you, you wouldn't think, have gone bad at all. You think that uh, how would the relationship with Eve, uh, Mark, Anissa? It would have stayed like, exactly the same the way it was before. I mm-hmm. think that 
Mark would have came back to Earth periodically to see him. But I think that Anessa would have raised him on would Earth. It, would Anessa have told Mark? Like, do you yeah. think they would oh, have? Yeah. She was trying to, right? Yeah, she was, she was, she was yeah, always trying to. She was building to. up So to after him. he defeats Thrag and they defeat Robot, they have a moment where she pulls him aside, tells him, and then Mark just says, all right, you guys got this. You're all good. I'm going to leave. You think he'd still visit Marky? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, I think Eve, and I think Eve would have been totally cool with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In fact, I think that, that because Anissa in my opinion is no she's not more, I don't she's think, not more attractive than Eve geez. I don't think that Eve would have been like just oh okay cool I, I think, think she, she would have fucking hated Anessa no, for life for no. fucking life I understand that they had some rebuilding mm-hmm. moments there for a little bit because obviously Anessa was trying but I I mean if that would have a child would have reopened that wound the way, I, the way I see it is we were talking hundreds of years in that final issue they would have all been like, that would have a blip on their radar mm-hmm. of a life. Like it never yeah, would have been a thing. Yeah, by that point it would have been. Oh nothing. yeah, so I think by then Anissa sure. would have just been another person in their lives. I agree. And that would have been interesting. I think it would have been very a very interesting like relationship to see even Anissa. Especially Marky too. Like yeah. Marky growing up, he knew what happened. Mm-hmm. You know, he said like remember that whole thing of like him being born from hate, uh, and Tara was born from love, like. Would that would he have still had those feelings knowing his mom? No, I don't think so at all. Because Anissa would I mean, have been a guiding force. She would have. He didn't have anybody to relate to. Yeah. He had no Viltrumites to relate to other than his sister. Which where what happened to her? She ended up getting powers. Kirkman said so. <laughs> yeah, but we're. But anyways, I mean, she's a guiding. She's a motherly figure, a guiding force. Like he literally had a human of a dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he never would have like freaked out at the end when his mom died. I like, honestly think she would have she probably. Would have just... I think she would have said, "Go off with your dad." No, mm. you don't think so? No way. I do. I think she was. Pro- she, she protected him up until. She, well, okay. You know, so Mark was, took all, like the Viltru- all the all the all the Viltrumites off of Earth. Anissa would have been one of those Viltrumites. She would have left. Do you think she would have left her fucking family there? I don't think she would have. Why are you saying so that she Mar- would so left now, just because she's a Viltrumite? So now Marky's in space. Where, you're, you're just saying things. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, like, no. no, it goes back to... Why are you if, saying that Anessa would leave Earth? Why would she leave her husband? Why wouldn't she leave Earth with all the Viltrumites? Yeah, why wouldn't she? She'd I be the she only wanna, one. I she think she'd want to stay on Earth with her husband. No, but all the, the other Viltrumites had, all the, had All the other spouses. Viltrumites and their human spouses went into space. Why wouldn't he go into space with them? Oh my God, yeah. No, I think that's a valid what if. That like, is there's a valid not really, one. You I got mean, all mad at me and The stuff. reason why he didn't go into space was because he had no ties to it. There was no Anissa. But with Anissa, that's a good point. He might have gone into space with him. Mm-hmm. In which case, Marky wouldn't have grown up in his father's shadow, to, so to say. He would have been right there with him. Mm-hmm. Oh, no Debbie raising him, though. That's sad. <laughs> oh, that's true. Maybe Debbie would have gone. No, she was on Earth with, with Nolan and, his, you know, Nolan stayed behind. Yeah, but, but a big part of it was Marky, though, too. To help raise him? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't think she would have, though. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I, I think she may have. It's interesting. No, because she even said space isn't for me. Like, I've, I've been there, done that. Like, Well, because what? she liked him. She was, they were talking, that was yeah. a conversation about why, what she sees in him. Mm-hmm. You can do all this. Why are you grounding yourself? Right. Right. But, so my vote is that Anissa, if she lived, she would have gone into space. Marky would have gone into space. There would have been no invincible Marky. Yeah, I think there he would have, wouldn't have been. I think he would have been like Tara, though. I think they would have been. I think they'd be. Like, I think. I think Wonder there twins, been some like, squabbling. <laughs> oh you know yeah, I mean? I just feel like there was. Like who's the better? Yeah. God. What could have been? I mean, he was still born out of a May- rape. Oh, well, I know. okay. So you know what? Maybe it would have ended even even worse in space. Like if he was part of the Viltrum Empire, like the right hand to his father. What if he overthrew him? I, st- I still think that, that could have happened. Him coming out of a rape, there's still issues there. It's not like everything is re- resolved because I think the majority Anessa of lived. I don't. I think the majority of the anger he felt towards his dad and when that happened in the final issue was not being able to live up to his dad and not having anybody else with him. Like his dad occasionally showing up, but constantly being trying to be good enough for him. I don't. I'm not saying that he would go evil. I'm just saying that there's def- there was issues there. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think, think those I mean I think with. those those are always would always be there. But I don't think, to Ryan's point, he would have that what if. Like, he he would have a dad. Like, he would have Mark. Not only that, but who's to say he did go evil? 
Oh, yeah, we don't know what happened, you know? Yeah. We don't know. He just was fucking pissed about yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. I think that he just kept trying. Like, something something triggered him, and he flew there and just attacked him. I, I In my headcanon, he just flew to that planet, crashed into it, started being the shit out of him, and then the, that, that's where we found them. I know what you meant when you said headcanon. Like, in yeah. the canon, that, but you that pictured? is great. But I pictured <laughs> your head transforming into a cannon. Yeah. 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 But you know what I meant. I know what you meant. That's great. All right. Uh, I think that does it. Right, guys? For... Invincible what if? Invincible what if? TJ's falling asleep. You all right, buddy? We created a lot of I'm questions. Still, a lot of infuriating questions. A lot, of, a lot of things to think about. What's your favorite one? If you uh, pick. Which one like, would I want? Like, If they were to make an issue, like a one-shot that comes out called Invincible What If, mm-hmm. and it was one of these stories... Mm-hmm. Uh, Assuming that the comic book never I think, ends. I think it would have to have been him in the reboot dimension just because i want to see all that again and that's really cool i like the idea of him stopping things before they happen and what kind of butterfly effect things consequences would have come from it it could have even been a completely different series series after Mm -hmm. like maybe a year what's one of these what ifs that jump out at you guys if i mean going off of what you just said if i mean jumping out at me is different than if i could have my own what if comic book one comic I, not a series just one issue if i could have one issue yeah what if rex blowed lives because fuck you guys really because I, I, <laughs> it would have been so boring he would have i don't care he would have i don't got, care you, wow he would have gone to the store and gotten a sandwich and sat down by himself and eaten. no he would have like, fucked shit up feels good to be alive yeah and then it ends. <laughs> sir sure glad i'm not dead <laughs> the sandwich sure is good what do you think bill what's one that jumps out for you i like the last one that we just talked about. Anissa? What if Anissa lived? Because right. I feel like that opens up a lot of things. That's assuming then that the comic didn't end. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like, yeah. what if there was another year or more mm-hmm. of story? I feel like... I just... I feel like that could have been a really cool conflict. Yeah. Like, even Anissa having to be in the same room together, mm-hmm. you know? What Would ultimately be- ended the series? Was it Nolan dying? And him taking over the Viltrumite Empire? What do you mean? What what caused the end of the series? You know what I mean? Like what No conflict, you mean? What like there was yeah, was Mark taking over the Viltrum Empire and creating a a peace formulating like race of beings. What what could we take out that happened? Oh, that to would make, make this series Kirkman continue it. Have to continue it. You know what I mean? I don't think anything. It's like we talked about, like He did he did pretty much was, end it and we, like continue we, it in, in if it had gone on for another year, we would have gotten Terra growing up. Like, we would have gotten would've... the new Battle Beast. We would have gotten Ancient Levy's son. Like it's still, it's still stuff would have still happened, and yeah. it did still happen. So I don't know. But like, what if Nolan didn't die? Well, I, but he's saying, what? So, if, what could we take out of the comic in a what if scenario that would have kept the story? What if Nolan going? didn't die? Nolan uh, took the Viltrumites with him. Invincible stayed on Earth. At the, the end of the uh, fight with Rag and Robot. War. Yeah. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, I guess I guess it would have been back to life on Earth. That's what I mean. Like, the yeah. story continues. Anissa wouldn't have died, so there. That's there's that situation. Well, she still could have died during the fight. Why? Oh yeah, I guess Nolan so. saving lived. Nolan. Yeah. She. I mean, she actually. How did nobody ask that question? What if Nolan lived? Because that's that's like. Yeah, because I guess he would have taken the Viltrumites, and he, Mark would Mark have. Mark wouldn't have and then the ever. Story would continue do you like think? I, I feel like they still would have gone to that one planet to be at peace. Part of me feels like he wouldn't want to be on Earth, but I don't know. Maybe he does. And even if yeah. he's on Earth, I mean, mm-hmm. then yeah, I guess he lives out his life on Earth, stopping criminals. As Terra grows up, still becomes her version of Invincible. Yeah, but they live on a planet. That... Marky still grows up. They're all still on Earth. I guess it still kind of goes on. I mean, Eve didn't want to leave Earth. Yeah. So they would it, would it would have just went on only on Earth. Do you mm. think eventually Nolan would have died and then Mark would have had to leave Earth? Because no. they live on so long that... I think that, that Nolan Nolan's story would have continued kind of what Mark did. Yeah. He would could just continue to live for 500 years or however long with the Vulture right up. I mean, Nolan Empire. would eventually die, though. and Just like the Invincible Vulture would Empire eventually die. would eventually go to Mark. Yeah, but we're saying that so that's even past the end of the series that we saw. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Five hundred years in the future, potentially. Mm-hmm. What if? 
What <laughs> if? Why? why clowns? Why? Nice. No, it's why here? I know. Why, why now? now? But you both said what if. Why was. clowns? Oh, man. Listen, if you guys haven't seen... Killer, what is it? Killer Clowns Killer, from Outer oh Space. Oh, my gosh. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. What a... It's... Oh my gosh! If you it's haven't such a seen bad... it, you don't need to see it. No, you absolutely need to see no, it. You don't. It's just one of those bad cult classic oh, horror movies. Oh, so bad! Yeah. It's so bad. Scared yeah, like, the crap there out of me are, when I was little, though. There are bad movies out there that you should see before. <laughs> clowns. Uh, all right, that's gonna do it for Invincible. What if? That was kind of cool. This is like a, like we said, probably gonna be a shorter episode, but it was fun to sit around and talk about this kind of stuff. In between our uh, tie-in series, because next up is Invincible Universe. Uh, last episode, we finished off Guarding the Globe. I'm excited to talk more about Invincible Universe. It kind of continues right where mm-hmm. Guarding the Globe left off. I'm hoping that more people, after listening or starting to listen to the last episode, read it. Mm-hmm. And are then as excited as I am to read Invincible Universe. Because yeah. it's just more Invincible. It's just more it's Invincible so cool. that I haven't read that's out there. It's, yeah. like, it's like turning over a rock and finding a salamander, and you're like, oh, cool, a salamander. You know what I mean? It's like you turn over a rock and you see more Invincible. You're like, oh, cool, more Invincible. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly <laughs> like that. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, remember, you can find us on Twitter and Facebook, YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher. Apple, iTunes, all that good stuff. We appreciate iTunes reviews, and we love getting emails. Send us some feedback, questions, anything for the show. Uh, like we said, next up is going to be Invincible Universe, both volumes one and two. And uh, that's going to do it for us. Thank you all for listening. Uh, Bill, thank you. TJ? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for tuning in, guys. All right. Good night. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, bye. Hello and welcome to the Invincible Podcast, probably the best superhero can you, podcast can you do it with a little bit more, in, little more in the universe. universe. Can you do it with a little bit more, uh... Hey everybody and welcome to the Invincible... No. <gasps> I'm gonna fucking play an electric guitar in the background. <laughs>